All right, welcome back to Our Tack and Daughters, to the show that never ends, good kind people. And just because uh, somebody has asked me in the past about the camouflage pattern that we have here on the table, this is World War II Italian camouflage. Yes, the Italians did use camouflage in World War II, and this is a um, pattern made to look like it. It is a replica, and they've had several shades of different um, camouflage that the Italians used for their tents and some of their special unit um, during the World War during World War Two. And so, anyway, we're going to talk about um, this big looking X here in front of me, and what to think about it, and what it is. And you notice here we got we are ahead put put our tack on there. And did the other side here too. And then you notice it's got a big old plug right here. Well, this plug here is made for it to be filled up with sand or some other heavier or weighted material. Um, I did not fill it up with sand. I wanted to take it out and see how it was uh, being light as a bench. It's a bench rest shooter, obviously. Um, it does have four contacts on this side and uh, on this side here and on this smaller size too. These are glued in. Um, I've already had one of these come off. That one's a little loose. If you pick at them they'll come off. Um, it's a bench rest of course. You can use it right there. Lay your rifle, pistol across that. And you'll see in the shooting video, the range video, uh, coming up after this and after the Amend 2 magazines um, you'll see both of these being used. Uh, this thing worked great. I will fill it up with some sand maybe and um, and use it that way. It worked pretty good. Uh, this was sent to the channel. Got to be uh, up front here. This was sent to the channel uh, by Pride Field. Or, no, not Field. Pride Fin. Yes, Pride Fin. They are on YouTube and, uh, well, not YouTube. They're on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, it is a Chinese company. Uh, they sent this to the channel for us for evaluation and shooting. So we used it today. Um, I like it. Uh, we used it with the uh, P17 and with the 9mm PPC carbine. Um, or pistol, I should say. Not carbine, it's a pistol. Um, here is some of their information. Pride fin. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Pride fin. Looks like some type of mountain lion there. Like the mountain lion, like the logo there. Uh, how to contact us. They got a. Let's see here. Uh, there's our Pride fin and Pride fin stores on facebook and on twitter i don't do twitter because everybody knows that twitter is a left-wing um propaganda machine so we don't use uh twitter here in this house at all so um that's the card they sent with it it worked pretty good really liked it um can't say anything bad about it maybe except for the glue that holds them down. You see it peeling up a little bit. That's no big deal, of course, though. If you got, um, once you put some weight in it and then you flop it around from side to side, it's good. Uh, they're rubber matted here on, on all the corners here for your shooting. Um, you only got two two heights. This height here and then the tall the taller height right there uh, level-wise. So it depends on how you're shooting. Um, like I said, work really great. It's, um, if you keep it light like this, it's going to move a little bit on you. Um, expect that because there's no weight to it at all. I don't think I'm going to fill it all the way up with sand. I will think I'll just fill it up halfway with sand where, um, I can get sand up to this point here where both sides are filled equally. And then when you turn it, then the sand can just run down to the other sides and keep it that way. Kind of like an hourglass deal is what I was going to do with it. And, um, but as, as, as light as it is now, uh, it works fine at the indoor range for sure. Um, 
And then again, if you're close to a lake or something like that, or, or a pond or a stream, and you're shooting, and it gets away from you, well, it's going to float. So there's always that. And then the worst case scenario, if you can't get it, you can just sink it at the pond, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they didn't like that, but, you know. Anyway, right now for, uh, I'll leave the link to their Amazon page down below because it seems that YouTube doesn't have a problem with Amazon links for Pew Pew accessories. Just um, other Pew Pew accessories that are not on Amazon. Doesn't make no sense, but hey, neither does YouTube. So anyway, um, if you like this video, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, please like it anyway. Or give me a downvote. I don't care. Um, let, let, let me know, uh, have you tried this before? Have you seen uh, bench uh, shooting aids like this before? Uh, I gotta be honest, I like this better than the bags for some reason. Um... With the bags, you got to fill them up with sand or, you know, some type of chicken feed or something light so you can carry it around. And it's not a burden. Um, but this bench block here, I, I like it. It shoots fine. I mean, you can shoot off it fine. It's got a nice rubber texture there that help grip. It doesn't uh, mar your receiver, your coatings or anything like that. So, um, like I said, look for it in the description on Amazon. Link I'll post below. And remember, folks, as always, it costs nothing for you to be kind to one another. And keep the President Trump in your thoughts. Uh, hopefully he'll get through the Wuhan flu pretty quickly. And he'll get back and win the election like we need him to so we can keep Creepy Joe out. Remember, go out and vote in person. Um, report voter fraud our suspicious voter activity if you see it to the proper authority so it can be checked because uh, like for instance if you end up getting 15 ballots at your house or you find some in the road take pictures of it of course or in creeks or in gullies or wherever else and get this out so people are know about it because joe biden lied about it i don't want to get this this is not what this is for anyway folks get off on a tyrant there nice uh bench block shooting um accessory here uh, if you're looking for something like this it could fit the bill for you go out take a look at it on amazon i'll post the link below again like i said like three times because i like to ramble <laughs> and we'll catch you next time